Good day everyone. Today I'd like to look at the Italian game, namely this position. If black plays bishop c5, then it's called the Chioco Piano, which is the oldest recorded chess opening. But black has also other options, such as bishop e7, the Hungarian defense, or d6, the Parisian defense. So let's look at different stuff here. Let's just explore. If bishop c5, usually white plays c3, preparing d4. Here, black can hit white's e pawn, but white can play d4 with tempo. Usually, Black takes on d4, and it's beneficial for black to check white from b4. And usually blocks with the knight, which enables black to take the e-pawn, but white has good initiative. Here, if black takes on c3, white has a good in-between move, d5. Here, usually black opts to save his bishop and white doesn't have to take that knight immediately he can threaten this other knight so he's gonna get either one of them here black chooses to save this knight and his position is a little bit cramped but also this rook might be awkward here so d6 bishop g5 developing another piece and uh, almost forcing black to to exchange one of the pieces that he's developed so now white has three pieces on the board or in action and black has only one so black wants to kick that knight before he castles because queen h5 would be too bad perhaps it's also possible to to castle here but but this gives better better game for black and he's actually better here queen e2 white can just ignore this threat because he's gonna get the knight back black chooses to give the bishop instead d takes e f6 trying to isolate this weakness this thorn in black's position and um, expand on the queen side rook e3 planning to exchange another um, active piece from black and also enabling the queen to attack perhaps trying to attack black blocks that now queen trying to get in through f6 can black defend against this? He has this knight queen maneuver, hitting the rook, and then coming to e5, protecting f6. Okay. And this looks quite good um, for black, I'd say, but white can also win. White can also win if black is not careful, so. Very interesting position out of the Giorgio Piano. Shows how much dy dynamism there is in this opening. It's it's not a simple opening. There's a lot of tactics uh, that can happen. Black can go for two knights defense. And here, white can play d3. Bishop e7, for example. And it's quite uh, drawish actually. So, black doesn't have much, uh, like, huge chances to win, but, but um, he has good chances to draw. I mean, it's a bigger chance that, than, that it's a draw or blacks win than white winning. So, I guess most of the cases 
black is happy and but that's a pretty pretty um, boring position let's look at bishop e7 here white can play d4 and now white is the only one with a central pawn so there's this slight advantage castle here h3 multi-purpose move uh, here black has many options a6 c6 rook e8 h6 bishop d7 knight f d7 c5 so you can use your imagination the game is pretty open perhaps there's not one best move even even the engines couldn't probably find the right move knight f3 c4 an in-between move and uh, it looks quite quite even I would prefer to be white here but definitely not not a winning advantage so something to to play for as white if, if your opponent plays bishop e7 and other choices for black well there's d6 the Parisian defense but it usually leads to the two knights defense like knight f6 maybe perhaps with knight e7 it would be more interesting and f5 something like that h6 doesn't seem to be working for black and g6 also the bishop might not see very far because black white can just play d3 not d4 uh, let's look at knight d4 still this is, this is a trap if white takes on e5 then black can play queen g5 hitting that knight hitting that g pawn here if white goes to f3 then g pawn falls anyway and it's uh, quite awkward maybe knight g4 here d5 hitting the bishop and the knight through this discovered attack so I perhaps prefer black here because he still white still has to develop the queen side and uh, find home for the king perhaps castle queen side or if he can stay in the center so that's why we don't usually say knight, knight takes uh, e5 we see just knight takes d4 or c3 and uh, this is better for white he can play c3 or d3 and it's just more developed let's look at c3 this seems to be the best refutation because now white can just develop his queen with tempo and uh, it looks to be better for white at least a little bit so yeah those were some replies for the Italian game uh, whether it becomes Giorgio Piano or Pianissimo that's uh, d3 from white bishop c5 d3 it means uh, like extra quiet game so yeah hopefully you're now more prepared to play this and it's a very classical opening it's something that we shouldn't forget everyone always plays Rui Lopez but this can teach a lot about the game also just bishop c4 and not many people are prepared for it there's many traps and pawn sacrifices and stuff like that for example the the, the legal trap or legal uh, arises from this this opening so thanks for watching bye